السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی ہیو کمپلیٹڈ یونٹ نمبر فسٹ حضرت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایز این امبوڈیمنٹ آف جسٹس ناؤ ٹوڈے ان دس لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ یونٹ نمبر سیکنڈ نیو چائنیز ایئر ناؤ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس فسٹ آف آل یو ول ریڈ دا لرننگ آؤٹ کمز آف دس لیسن لک ایٹ یور بکس آن دا فسٹ پیج یو کین سی دا لرننگ آؤٹ کمز آفٹر کمپلیٹنگ دس یونٹ اسٹوڈنٹس ول ایکسپلور the festivals and cultural events around the world now the word explore means to travel explore means to travel to travel to or to travel around an area to travel around the country to travel around the, the world so the students will explore here the word explore means that the students they will learn something what they will learn the cultural events means the different cultures around the world explain the meanings of words as used in the text means contextual meaning of uh, the words they will learn illustrate the use of simple present and simple past tense now the students they will also illustrate the word illustrate means to make the meaning clear by giving examples so illustrate the use of simple present and simple past tense summarize the text by listing the important events of the chinese festival actually the lesson there is about uh, the chinese new year so that is why mostly the festivals they are taken from the chinese uh, festival and the important events of their festivals produce an effective essay on a general topic or a general subject now we are going towards the text of this lesson now dear students look at your books at page number 16 passage number 1 chinese new year is a holiday that celebrates the beginning of a new year according to the chinese lunar calendar now first of all chinese new year is celebrated as a holiday as we have many festivals many holidays in pakistan we celebrate many holidays for example uh, eid eid ul fitr eid ul adha right so these are different celebrations in our country the second thing is that the chinese year or the new year it is celebrated on the very first day of the year as we also celebrate whenever a new year starts so around the world the people celebrate it so same is the example with chinese people the second thing is that celebrates the beginning of a new year according to the chinese lunar calendar now what is calendar actually calendar already you are well aware calendar is a system for fixing the beginning first of all we fix the beginning the length and the divisions of the year and arranging days weeks and months in a definite order so i mean to say the calendar it is a system that gives a definite order to days how many days will be there in the year how many weeks months when it will start when it will end so the beginning the length of the year it is explained and it is given in the calendars but normally mo- the, the people mostly they use a solar calendar which we also called gregorian calendar before the gregorian calendar we used to follow or the people used to follow julian calendar actually the julian calendar that was introduced by julius caesar but now mostly or most part of the world the people they uh, use this one uh, solar calendar but in china the people they follow the lunar calendar now what is the difference between solar calendar and lunar calendar actually the solar calendar
the word solar that is related to the sun and normally the earth it completes one revolution around the sun in a year and normally it takes 365 days but the lunar calendar the lunar calendar that is related to the moon now the lunar calendar that is 11 to 12 days shorter than the solar calendar so that is why whenever uh, we are following the solar calendar so according to the solar calendar the lunar calendar that is shorter then there is a gap in between these two calendars from 11 to 12 days so every year you can see that the eids you know i mean to say it will fit it will as they are not fixed on the same days they are variable they are changeable you know sometimes uh, it is celebrated on one date and the next year eid is celebrated on the next i mean to say a different date why because of the difference between two, these two calendars so the chinese people they also follow this one lunar calendar which is connected with the moon it is considered to be one of the most important holidays for chinese families now whenever it is the first day of the year which we call chinese new year so mostly the chinese families it is the holiday for them so they enjoy this holiday they go out they arrange tours and trips they celebrate in different ways they arrange different parties the holiday celebrated with big family gatherings mostly you know there are gatherings gathering means a meeting of the group of people there are different gatherings gift giving people used to give gifts on this very day eating of the symbolic foods now the word symbolic symbolic foods now the word symbolic is adjective symbolic of something means symbolic of something it means that the symbol of something or which is used as a symbol for example we say the dog is the symbol of peace for example the dog is the symbolic of peace so symbolic foods are those foods which are the customary foods means the symbolic foods which are used as a symbol symbolic means these foods are the traditional foods because every area there are different symbolic foods right and they are different and they are various from areas to areas from country to country from people to people from tribe to tribe so these people uh, they eat symbolic foods in display of the festive decorations they display they arrange they show right festive decoration now the word festive means a event a particular event a decoration which is done for a particular event so here we are talking about the chinese new year so those those decorations which are done by the people for a specific purpose and what is the purpose that is to celebrate the chinese new year all focused on bringing good luck for the new year now the main focus of the people is that they celebrate this day for the purpose that they believe the first day when they celebrate 
they eat symbolic foods they give gifts right so the purpose is that this whole year will be a lucky year this whole year will bring a good luck for them in celebrating the coming of spring now the spring season it is also celebrated so means it is the welcome for the spring season the welcome for the new year chinese new year and the welcome for the spring season in china the lunar calendar is still used to determine traditional holidays like chinese new year now the people in china is they follow lunar calendar so they have different traditional holidays traditional holidays the word traditional which we also say conventional customs beliefs right for example the word traditional let us adjective traditional holidays what type of holidays tradition the word traditional let us from tradition tradition is a noun which means a custom or belief of the particular people in a particular area that is called tradition so in china the people also determine the traditional holidays like chinese new year as we are discussing the chinese new year so like it they have many traditional holidays a lot of traditional holidays they celebrate since the lunar calendar is based on the phases of the moon as i told you that the lunar calendar the lunar calendar that is based based on on the moon on the phases of the moon right this one calendar that is associated with the moon related and connected with the phases of the moon since the lunar calendar is based on the phases of the moon which has a shorter cycle than the sun as i told you earlier that the moon it has a shorter cycle as compared to the sun that we call solar calendar now there is a gap and there is a difference between these two calendars this one calendar which is connected with the moon the phase in the revolution of the moon that is shorter than the sun around about 11 to 12 days chinese new year is never on the same day each year so this is the reason that chinese new year is not on the same day like our eid eid ul fitr it is never celebrated on the same day every year but it, it changes why yearly it changes why because that this lunar calendar it is shorter than the solar calendar and the reason is the revolution the revolution of this moon is shorter than the sun there is a the difference of 11 to 12 days so that is why it is said that chinese new year is never on the same day each year but typically falls somewhere between january 21st and february 20th means uh, it is approximately in between these two dates for example if one year it is celebrated on the 21st january so the next year it is celebrated on another date right so they have approximately given two dates january 21st and february 20th that it is celebrated in between these two dates celebrations can actually last up to a month now the first date they start the celebration on the very first day of the year but that last now the word last is a word you know this word this one word 
लास्ट यू कैन यूज मोस्टली इट इज यूज एज एजेक्टिव लास्ट पर्सन लास्ट कैंडिडेट बट हियर द वर्ड लास्ट इज वर्ब इज अ वर्ब सो एज अ वर्ब लास्ट मीन्स टू कंटिन्यू समथिंग फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम in this sentence already we have said in the learning outcomes that the word you will search the contextual meaning the contextual meaning means that you will look at the uh, grammatical category of the word if you are using this one last as a verb then you will have to search the meaning in the dictionary as a verb for example you can use it as a verb i came last i came late so whenever you are using this word as a verb it will give the meaning to continue for a period of time now look at the sentence again now celebrations can actually last up to a month it means that the celebration of the new chinese year that continues for one month for the whole month they celebrate this year right and they believe that when they celebrate this so this uh, year it will bring uh, lots of happiness and good luck so this was test number first of this lesson now there is a question why is chinese new year never on the same day each year so already uh, you heard and we discussed this point in this first passage you will have to answer this question in your notebook